So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Angus crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. <laughs> Still do a lot of traveling these days. I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest for me. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all. Woo! <laughs> it's colder than I thought. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, the first time out here was for a swap. Swan diamonds. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. A little warning next time. I guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4 by 4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. That we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's... Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Well, whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. 
No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper. I'll be right back. Uh, Nathan? Yeah, I excuse me. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. <laughs> oh, hey! Stay put. I bring me back something nice. All done. Yeah. Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Follow my lead. Picked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. So how long are you posted? Yeah. It's all orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. <coughs> Waste of resources. Just put me in charge. I'll get the whole thing considering the last. Hey, here! <gasps> Sniper! Oh, you can't break that! Behind you! There's no way out of this! You're done!
Okay, I think that's it. Damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? One to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Easy. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? 
No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a... Be right back, fellas. Hey, kid. <clears throat> Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, now that's not how she operates. She's more of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Hey, come on, scoot. Maybe use the car. Just a suggestion. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Who made these carrots? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. All right, one sec. All right, happy hunting. <laughs> Come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. What do you oh, think of my goods? Here, take a picture of me. Isn't it right? This is a rape request. Every site needs to be documented before we use explosives. <laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us. Get out of the way and let me take a goddamn picture.
What the? What's that? I think we're clear. Fire walks into him. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Well, let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect <laughs> something inside. Hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on.
another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! You got this? Mm -hmm. I see. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Get that bridge down. Let's try that again. There we go. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <laughs> this thing come with airbags? Parachutes? Yeah, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Worth a try. Gonna take a look around. So, just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the guns' way heist. Which is <clears throat> worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. Here we go. Shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on 
to something? Ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Yeah, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Get in that way. <laughs> Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! Then heads up. Let's see what we got here. He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey, guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's uh. Um... It's Adam Baldridge. It's uh, Joseph Farrell. And it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <laughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. 
Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Jesus. That all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon.